People are starting to ask, does Carl only own one t-shirt? Now, forgetting for a moment that I'm offended by that question, I'd like to say that I actually own, I don't know, several shirts. So why am I always wearing a gray t-shirt in all my videos? Well, it's because I'm always wearing a gray t-shirt in real life. Why is that? Well, about a year ago or something like that, I don't know, when it hit me one morning after I'd only slept for a few hours, you know, you try to wake up and peel and your eyes open, it hit me that it was hard enough to get going in the morning without having to decide what clothes to wear. I mean, just dragging myself into the shower ought to be enough for the world without having to pick out my own clothes, too. I mean, I dress myself, right? That should be enough. Think of your mornings, okay? You're tired as it is. Your brain has not even clicked on yet. And you're somehow expected to make snap decisions about what kind of clothes to wear to the meeting today. When you finally decide what to wear, then you have to locate the stuff. Now, that's easy for you women out there, okay? But the rest of us, we struggle with this. So, you think of a shirt after a while, and then after about a 10 or 15 minute search, you find the thing at the bottom of a pile of dirty laundry. And then you remember, oh, that makes sense. I like this shirt. I just wore it. But now, see, you've got to start this whole process over again from scratch. And I say, you know, what a tremendous waste of valuable morning time. The sun is up, or it will be soon anyway. Let's live. Let's not be spending all this time worrying about getting dressed. You know, I talked this whole crisis situation over with my wife one day. <laughs> I was kidding with her about how school kids, you know, kids who wear school uniforms, rather, they have it made. I mean, they wake up, slap on that uniform, they're out the door. It's so easy. Well, then I had a eureka moment, and I, I went out and bought several t-shirts all of the same color. Let's keep things simple here. I don't want to be doing this thing, should I wear blue or red today? Uh, I decided that I would try a gray t-shirt and a pair of jeans as my uniform. Now, the wonderful thing is, <laughs> this is true too, I have a, a wonderfully supportive wife who lets me get away with these things, and so I appreciate that. Now, I want you to know that uh, these are not just, uh, you know, any old off-the-rack t-shirt. I went down to an exclusive clothier, uh, Target it's called. You know, some people mispronounce it as Target, but uh, they're probably the same people who, uh, you know, ask you to pass the whores de vores at parties. They're hors d'oeuvres, by the way. So anyway, why a gray t-shirt specifically? Well, of course, it's obvious, isn't it? Uh, gray is, um, what is gray? Gray is classy. Gray is the new black. With a gray t-shirt and a pair of jeans, you can go anywhere. I mean, you can attend the Oscars or change the oil in your car, you know, and not even need a rag. Uh, I mean, gray t-shirts are in. Uh, what could be more appropriate at a, at a funeral than a gray t-shirt? Uh, I don't know about that, actually. I drink a lot of tea, okay? And you know, tea, uh, if you're in a hurry, it'll slop on you. Now, imagine, and see, you don't even realize this. I mean, the only way you're going to see the tea stains is if you're invading my personal space. Now, if I were wearing a white t-shirt, for instance, you might not hold me in the same, same high esteem. When it comes right down to it, though, I have chosen, I made a choice, to believe that gray t-shirts are on the cutting edge of uh, fashion. That the only reason the rest of you um, don't wear them all the time is because you haven't uh, figured it out yet. You're behind the curve. You, you're be, you, you need to get up 
to speed, so to speak, on what cool is. That's what I believe. Um, I also believe sometimes that I'm Napoleon Bonaparte, but that's another video. But to cut to the chase, mornings are easier now. I mean, without even looking, I reach into a drawer and pull out a gray t-shirt, and there's always one there, you know? I don't have to wonder if there's, <laughs> I got enough of these things where there's always one there. And the drawer below is full of jeans. What could be easier? In fact, everything was just fine with me and my gray t-shirts. We weren't bothering anyone until I started doing these videos. And then there was this clear, uh, unassailable documentation, evidence, that, uh, that I wore the same clothes every day. Although, I would argue that I don't actually wear the same clothes. I wear similar clothes every day. I, I start every morning with, a, with an April Fresh, clean, gray t-shirt and uh, a pair of jeans. So there is some some variety there, I would say. Now, after I'd made the first couple of videos, it hit me that I, well, I had to make a decision. It was a tough decision. I spent at least uh, several seconds pondering this. The decision was, would I adapt my habits to suit the tastes of the general public? Or would I expect the entire world to adapt to me? And <laughs> by what I'm wearing, I, I guess you can see where I came down on this issue. Think of it this way. Do you really want me thinking all morning, every morning, about what I'm going to wear? Looking for shirts that aren't even there? Or do you want me thinking about how to make you the best Doc Arenas we can and how to pro provide you the best customer service we can. So, I encourage you in your own life, free yourself from the bondage of aesthetic convention and simplify your life just like I have and thousands of uh, UPS workers have done. Uh, you know, wear the same color <laughs> shirt uh, most of the time. And unless, of course, you're single and, I don't know, hope to get married someday, I actually think it's easier to sell a spouse on ideas like this if your relationship is already on a solid foundation. Uh, you know, potential spouses, if they don't know you well yet, they might be scared off by too much weird, <coughs> excuse me, by too much individuality. So, well, another thing, if you have a real job, by that I mean you're not part owner of the company, uh, your employer might not be uh, hip to gray t-shirts the way I'm sure all of us are. And uh, you might have to make some tough decisions too, just like I did. I mean, when all is said and done, you're going to have to decide something. You're going to have to make a choice between your job, a mere career, or a freeing, simplified morning routine that lets you get up and out of there, uh, you know, without any fuss. It gives you back minutes of your life each day. Now, this is a choice we all have to make. I can't make it for you. 